Ever find yourself in the middle of life storms, feeling overwhelmed and stressed? Ever had that moment, when it seems like the weight of the world is on your shoulders, and you're not sure how to carry on? Today, I want to share a message that holds the promise of hope, a promise that says, even in the midst of your stress, God has a way of turning it into something beautiful. Now, I know life isn't always rainbows and sunshine. Sometimes, it feels more like thunderstorms and dark clouds. But here's the thing. Just as the sun rises after the darkest night, there's a promise of a new dawn in your life. So, if you've ever wondered if there's more to your stress than meets the eye, stick around, because today's message is tailor-made for you. I want to acknowledge something right off the bat. Life is not always a smooth journey. We all face stress, challenges, and uncertainties. It's part of the human experience. If you're feeling burdened today, know that you're not alone. The acknowledgement of stress is not a sign of weakness, but a recognition of the battles we all fight. Life's difficulties can come in various forms, financial strain, relationship challenges, health issues, or the weight of unmet expectations. It's okay to feel the weight of these burdens. Your stress is not a measure of your faith. It's a common thread that binds us all together. In acknowledging stress, we also recognize the importance of vulnerability. It takes strength to admit when we're struggling, and it takes courage to seek help. So, if you find yourself in the midst of stress, it's not a reflection of your worth or your abilities. It's an opportunity to embrace your humanity and, in doing so, connect with others who may be experiencing similar struggles. Remember, acknowledging stress is the first step toward finding hope. It's the starting point of our journey today. So, if you're carrying a heavy heart, let's walk together on this path of discovery and transformation. You are not alone, and there is hope even in the midst of stress. In times of stress, it's easy to feel like you're drowning. But here's the lifeline, your faith. Trusting in God, even when the waves seem overwhelming, is like anchoring your ship in a storm. Your faith becomes the lighthouse, guiding you through the darkness. Now, faith isn't a mere wishful thinking, it's a powerful force. It's about believing in the unseen, and knowing that God is working behind the scenes, orchestrating a beautiful symphony, even when all you hear is chaos. Consider this, faith is not the absence of doubts, it's the decision to trust despite them. It's the assurance that God's promises are true, and His timing is perfect. Your stress might be shouting, but your faith whispers, God's got this. When life's challenges threaten to shake the very core of your being, remember that faith is not just a one-time choice. It's a daily decision to lean on God, to surrender your worries, and to allow His peace to guard your heart. In the turbulence of stress, your faith becomes an anchor that holds firm. It's the unwavering confidence that, even in the storm, God is navigating your ship safely to the shore. So, let your faith be your compass, guiding you through the uncertain waters of stress towards the promised blessings on the horizon. I want you to consider this, the same God who turned water into wine and fed thousands with a few loaves and fish is ready to transform your stress into blessings. The power of God is not just historical, it's present and it's personal. Let's dive deeper into the transformative power of God. Picture this, stress as a lump of clay and God as the master sculptor. In the hands of the divine, your stress becomes a masterpiece of blessings. God doesn't just patch up the cracks, he reshapes and molds your challenges into opportunities for growth. Consider Psalm 23 verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. This verse isn't just a poetic metaphor, it's a promise that God walks with you in the darkest valleys, ready to turn your stress into blessings. Think of God's transformative power like a sunrise after a long night. 
The sun doesn't just dispel the darkness, it paints the sky with vibrant colors, ushering in a new day. Similarly, God doesn't merely remove stress. He infuses your life with unexpected blessings, illuminating your path with hope. Remember, God's timing is impeccable. In times of stress, it's natural to want an instant fix, but God's transformations are like a slow-cooked meal. The results are worth the wait. The process may be gradual, but the outcome is a banquet of blessings, tailor-made for you. So, lean into the transformative power of God. Embrace the journey, knowing that every twist and turn is orchestrated by a loving Creator. Your stress isn't a roadblock, it's a stepping stone to a divine metamorphosis. Trust in the process and watch as God turns your stress into blessings beyond your imagination. Now, let's talk about patience and endurance, two companions that often accompany us on this journey of life. Picture this, your stress is like a heavy backpack you're carrying. Patience is the determination to keep walking, one step at a time, even when the weight feels unbearable. Think of endurance as your spiritual stamina. It's the fuel that keeps you going, allowing you to run the race set before you. Stress might slow you down, but endurance enables you to push through, reminding you that the finish line is ahead. Remember, the process of turning stress into blessings might not happen overnight. It's like planting seeds in a garden, you water them, patiently wait, and then witness the beauty of blooming flowers. Your stress is a season, not your destination. So, as you navigate through challenges, hold on to your patience. It's not a passive waiting, but an active trust in God's timing. Endurance is your secret weapon, allowing you to outlast the storms and see the sunshine on the other side. As we journey together, keep in mind that your patience and endurance are not signs of weakness, but badges of resilience. Embrace them, knowing that God is with you in every step and that, in due time, your stress will indeed be transformed into blessings. Let's dive into the timeless wisdom of the scriptures. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, it says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This verse is like a divine whisper, assuring us that, even in the midst of stress, God is not distant but right beside us, offering strength and support. Now, turn to Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, which advises, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. These words remind us that prayer, accompanied by gratitude, opens the door to a peace that goes beyond our understanding, guarding our hearts in times of stress. Lastly, in Matthew 11 verse 28, Jesus says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Picture this, Jesus inviting you to come as you are, burdens and all, promising rest. It's an invitation to find solace and relief in Him during times of stress. As we reflect on these scriptures, let them be a source of strength and assurance. God's words are not just ancient texts, they are living and relevant, offering comfort and guidance to us today. I've heard incredible stories of people facing seemingly insurmountable stress only to see God turn their situations around. Consider Sarah from our community who, amidst financial struggles, found unexpected provision just when she needed it most. Her story echoes the promise that when we trust in God, He not only provides but does so in ways beyond our understanding. And let's not forget Michael, who battled a serious health crisis. In the midst of uncertainty, he clung to his faith and over time witnessed a remarkable recovery that left doctors in awe. These testimonies aren't distant tales, 
They're living proof that God's power is active today, ready to turn your stress into blessings. Remember, these examples aren't about showcasing extraordinary people. They're about illustrating the extraordinary God we serve. Whether you're facing financial strain, health challenges, or any other stress, these testimonies are a reminder that God's transformative power knows no bounds. Your story, too, can be a testament to His faithfulness and the blessings that await those who place their trust in Him. Now, let's delve deeper into the power of prayer and spiritual practices in navigating the storms of life. Prayer isn't just a one-way conversation, it's a sacred dialogue with the Almighty. When you pray, you're not only expressing your needs, but also opening your heart to receive divine guidance. Consider prayer as a compass, guiding you through the labyrinth of stress. It's an opportunity to surrender your worries to God, allowing His peace to permeate your soul. Take a moment each day to be still, to listen, and to pour out your heart. In these quiet moments, you'll find a sanctuary where stress loses its grip, making room for blessings to enter. And let's talk about gratitude, a powerful spiritual practice. Gratitude is like a magnet for blessings. When you intentionally count your blessings, no matter how small, you're shifting your focus from stress to the abundance that surrounds you. It's a transformative act that aligns your heart with the positive energy of God's grace. Engaging in spiritual practices extends beyond the walls of a church. It's about integrating your faith into your daily life. Whether it's reading a verse from the scriptures, listening to uplifting music, or practicing mindfulness, these simple acts become anchors, grounding you in the midst of life's challenges. Remember, you don't have to navigate this journey alone. Share your spiritual practices with fellow believers and let the collective energy of a supportive community uplift you. Your journey of faith becomes more profound when shared with others who understand and stand with you in prayer. So, let's commit to a daily practice of prayer and gratitude. Let's cultivate an atmosphere where stress dissipates and blessings flourish. Together, through these spiritual practices, we strengthen our connection with God, finding solace and guidance in the midst of life's uncertainties. As you embark on this spiritual journey, know that you're not alone. Let the power of prayer and intentional spiritual practices be your companions on the path from stress to blessings. May your heart be open to the transformative energy of divine love, guiding you towards a life filled with hope and joy. Maintaining gratitude in stressful times is like finding jewels in the midst of rubble. Even when circumstances seem dire, count your blessings, both big and small. A thankful heart is a fertile ground for blessings to grow. It's not about ignoring the challenges, it's about training your mind to focus on what's good. Gratitude isn't just an attitude, it's a superpower. Consider keeping a gratitude journal. Write down three things you're thankful for every day. It could be as simple as a sunny day, a kind word, or a moment of peace. This practice rewires your brain, helping you see the silver lining, even in stormy clouds. Moreover, perspective is key. Imagine climbing a mountain. The higher you go, the more expansive your view becomes. Similarly, in the midst of stress, try to step back mentally. See the bigger picture. Sometimes what seems like a stumbling block is a stepping stone to something greater. Remember, perspective isn't just about looking, it's about seeing. It's about seeing challenges as opportunities for growth. It's about seeing hardships as refining processes that mold you into a stronger, wiser person. So, as you navigate through stress, carry gratitude as a lantern and perspective as your compass. Together, they will guide you through the darkest moments, revealing the path to blessings you might not have noticed otherwise. If you're feeling alone in your stress, remember the strength of our community. 
reach out, share your burdens, and let others stand with you. There's incredible power in the unity of believers supporting one another. Now, about personal responsibility and action. It's crucial to understand that faith is not a passive endeavor. It's like having a roadmap. You need to follow it to reach your destination. In your journey through stress, take active steps aligned with your faith. Consider this. When facing financial challenges, assess your budget and make wise decisions. Seek counsel from those with financial wisdom and, most importantly, pray for guidance. By taking responsibility for your financial choices, you're actively participating in God's plan for your abundance. Moreover, in moments of relational stress, personal responsibility means reflecting on your actions and words. Apologize if needed, forgive, and extend grace. Your responsibility in relationships is a tangible expression of God's love working through you. Remember, faith without action is like a car without fuel. It might look good, but it won't take you anywhere. So, in your stress, identify actionable steps, small or big, and take them. Whether it's reaching out for support, making healthier choices, or actively seeking God's guidance, your actions are a testament to your trust in God's ability to turn stress into blessings. In this journey, let personal responsibility be the wind in your sails, propelling you forward. Your faith and actions combined are a powerful force, steering you towards the blessings that await on the other side of stress. So, take that step, no matter how small. You're not alone in this. God walks with you every step of the way. Now, here's the challenge for you today. Take a step. It might be a small step, but take it. Reach out to someone, spend a few extra moments in prayer, or simply choose gratitude in the midst of stress. Your actions, no matter how small, align with God's plan for turning your stress into blessings. But here's the thing. This challenge isn't just about you. It's about creating a ripple effect of positivity. When you take that step, you not only impact your life, but also the lives around you. Your courage to act might inspire someone else to do the same. So, I want you to comment below and share what step you're taking today. Your words can be a source of encouragement for someone else watching. Let's create a virtual community of support where we uplift and inspire one another. And don't forget to subscribe. By subscribing, you're not just staying connected with us, but you're joining a community committed to growth and positivity. Hit the like button if this message resonated with you and share it with someone who might need these words today. Together, we can spread the message of hope and the power of faith in transforming stress into blessings. Now, Let's go out and take those steps, no matter how small, and watch how God turns our collective efforts into a symphony of blessings. Before we conclude, I want to share a prayer with you. It's not just words, it's a conversation with the Almighty. Dear God, in the midst of our stresses and challenges, we come before you with open hearts. We acknowledge that life can be tough, but we believe in your transformative power. Lord, grant us the patience and endurance to navigate through these trying times. As we seek your guidance, let us remember the words of Psalm 34 verse 17, The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. We trust that, in your time, our stresses will indeed turn into blessings. We lift up those watching this message, each with their unique struggles. Pour your comfort into their hearts. May they find solace in your promises, knowing that you are with them every step of the way. Lord, we express our gratitude for the blessings we have, even in the midst of challenges. Help us maintain a positive perspective and a heart full of thanksgiving. We choose to trust in your plan, even when we can't see the whole picture. As we close this time together, let this prayer resonate in our hearts. May it be a reminder that you are our refuge and strength. 
In Jesus' name, we pray, Amen. Feel the warmth of this prayer, my friend, and carry its strength with you. Let's spread the message of hope, knowing that God is in the business of turning stress into blessings.